What is up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another juicy video. As you guys can see by the title, I got some girl tips for y'all that I wish I knew sooner, okay? <laughs> Okay, anyway, you guys absolutely love when I do these kind of videos and things like that. And I do as well. But let me just be honest, you guys. I am running out of hiding spots. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? I'm running out of places to go hide and jump out of to tell you guys tips, all right? I, I am, you know? So I prefer the long form videos where I can really sit here and get in like detailed description about the different tips that I'm saying as well. But you know, everybody that loves those videos, shout out to y'all. And here is another one. We are doing self-care tips today. Just random self-care tips that I have for you guys today to help improve a, your lifestyle and beauty routine. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first tip we're gonna discuss is lip care, all right? Have you ever been talking to somebody or you have been talking and you notice that when you're talking to that person, white residue starts to form and build up around your lips as you talk? You know how you put on like lip gloss or like lipstick and you know, you just, you, you, that's dead skin, okay? That you need to scrub off all right you gotta start exfoliating your lips and put that into your skincare regimen honey because that's disgusting okay i'm not even gonna lie before i started this video i had to kind of do this to get it off my lips because i am due for a lip scrub but yes exfoliating your lips are extremely important especially around this time and around this season if you're watching this from a city or a country that is cold all year round i'm gonna pray for you baby because that's tough okay but right now in chicago it's the winter time so i have to make sure i, I pay close attention not only to my skin but to my lips as well because my lips be cracked okay my lips be cracked so bad it, it starts to bleed okay and the reason why it's doing that is because you're not exfoliating so what i like to do once a week is basically make a home like lip scrub okay you can go to the store like Ulta, walmart and target and get like lip scrubs but i feel like just doing it at home is cheaper so what i do is i like to mix one teaspoon of honey and two teaspoons of sugar and just literally just scrub my lips for like two or three minutes voila you got brand new lips okay no more cracking no more white stuff no more bleeding okay no more having to put aquaphor and vaseline on your lips all day scrub your lips girl scrub them scrub them all right all right okay so the second tip that i wish i knew sooner is about preventing ingrown hairs okay let me tell you something if i was able to get on here and show my cool to mama i would but i cannot i'm gonna get kicked off i cannot do that that's that's nasty but i have really mastered my routine when it comes to preventing ingrown hairs okay i have really got it down to a science all right when i see ingrown hair you know i'm just like a a fighter, an acne fighter. What the fuck? Be fucking for real, Nicole. Basically what ingrown hairs are are just dead skin cells that block the hair from growing properly. And depending on what type of hair you have, like coarse hair or curly hair or thick hair, you know, the, it, the hairs that get stuck and instead of them growing up, they'll like curl or like, you know, they won't grow in the direction they're supposed to do and that's what creates the bump, okay? which is a very natural thing, but if you're very insecure about it and you wanna clear that area up, these products I use, yeah, maybe. Anyway, I have really, really like, like I said, locked down my routine and it is all about your routine, okay? If you are an advocate watcher of my channel, you know how much I love fur, okay? I love fur products, love these, okay? These products, this brand has really, really helped me come so far when it comes to preventing ingrown hairs. So the first product that I highly recommend for you guys to invest in and get if you have a problem with ingrown hairs is fur oil, okay? This is basically just a really soothing oil to put down there under your arms or anywhere where you get ingrown hairs to really prevent them. You just put this on every single day when you get out the shower, when you wake up, period, okay? I usually do it when I get out the shower because I take a shower every day, which you should be too. Okay, and just put this on, babe. Then this is um, Fur Ingrown Eliminator Serum. This is basically the same thing, but this is an oil and this is a serum. I like this as well. I put this under my arms and on my Kuta Mama area, or sometimes I'll like mix these together, but they basically both do the same thing. This is just the oil and this is just a serum. And then this product this is like one of my new little bad boys okay this is the fur and grown deodorant for brightening and balancing okay so also if you have like hyperpigmentation or discoloration issues under your arms definitely invest in a deodorant that really does help brighten up the area so this is a natural deodorant that like i said not only helps with brightening but it also helps with ingrown hairs and let me tell you this stuff works okay this little cookie works now are you going to be funky
but just keep reapplying it okay make sure when you put on this deodorant you're not going to work out at the gym or you're not going to a party or you're not going on a first date or you're not going out with your friends you're not going out to the club um you're not going to play with your uh, kids at the park you're not going to run around um, um you're, you're not going to be sweating okay just just make sure if you aren't doing any of those things that day you could wear natural deodorant okay that's Last product is Ted Skin Solution. This is a toner that I also like to use as well. I don't really use this toner as much as I used to because I use my serums and my oils, but this is another good one as well that I got from Ulta. I actually got all of these products from Ulta and these products will be linked in my description below um, on my YouTube shop. So definitely check out these products. If you suffer with ingrown hairs or just hyperpigmentation, check these out, babe. Trust me, you won't regret it. I forgot to mention as well, pinging back to the whole preventing ingrown hairs, to also make sure you're exfoliating in the shower too every single day, all right? I love to use exfoliator products that are natural ingredients, especially if you're exfoliating down there in that bikini area. We all know we don't want to put nothing up there, okay? She she gets the acting crazy if you put something up there that's scented. She, she gets going wild. So you want to stay away from products that are like scented or just have like harsh ingredients when you're using an exfoliator for that area. So first brand also has an exfoliator that I really like from them as well but it's a little bit expensive so the cheaper version or the more cheaper friendly version that I highly recommend for you to get is an African net sponge perfect though okay it's six dollars on Amazon it's the easiest way to not only make sure you exfoliate down there under your arms but your whole body okay so definitely check it out okay so for the third tip is a tip I have been doing recently that I absolutely love this is nothing new but I just found out about it and I've been doing it like every single day that I've been getting out the shower which is mixing your body oils and your body butters together to give yourself a natural glow oh my gosh like it is the most cheapest way to give yourself that natural enhanced body glow that is just so pretty and it just looks so radiant. So definitely check that out when you get out the shower, you get out the tub or you're about to go somewhere and you just want to like a little pretty body shimmer, pretty glow. Mix a body butter with a body oil. And why I specifically say body butter and not just a regular moisturizer is because I feel like a body butter is way more moisturizing than just a regular moisturizer. I prefer to use body butters in like the winter cold season anyway because I just feel like, you know, with regular moisturizers, my skin and just like soaks that all up and I just feel like a body butter just really does like moisturize my skin and makes it last longer so that's why I say a body butter and a body oil but the only thing I'm gonna say is make sure the body oil and the butter bu body lord that is a tongue twister Whew. make sure that the body butter and the body oil that you use is like a lightweight body butter or body oil so you're not like heavy like you ever put on some body butter or some body oil before or put on some shea butter and you just feel like you just got out the oven like you just hot as hell. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. I hate feeling sticky and hot. So make sure that you're using like lightweight or not a heavy creams or oils and stuff like that. Mix it together, put it on your body and you're going to shine bright like a diamond, babe. And for the fourth tip, start using dry shampoo in your hair routine, okay? And I am talking to my black girls here, okay? I know I have been using dry shampoo for years, but I did not know black girls can use dry shampoo. I got my hair done like two weeks ago. I got me just like a little wash and set silk press. And my hairdresser told me to make your silk press last longer, use dry shampoo so it can last longer. Usually when I go get my hair done, my hair, like my, my silk press only lasts like two, three days tops. Cause my hair is just like so lightweight and just oils just really weigh down my hair like really easily. So I've been using dry shampoo and I absolutely love it. The dry shampoo that I highly recommend for you to get is this one from Ulta. It is the IGK one. This is their Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This does such a great job of like getting all the oils out your hair to keep your silk press lasting longer. And one, another thing that I really like about it too is that it's invisible. Like have you ever used a dry shampoo before and it's like has like white residue like some Sometimes I see girls like on social media using dry shampoos and it has like a white residue and I'm just like, ugh. You know, this one doesn't, okay? It has no white residue. It goes on clear and it really, really does work. Like, so definitely invest in dry shampoos, okay? If you white, black, whatever, invest in dry shampoos. The fifth tip that I have for you guys on tips I wish I knew sooner is layering your scents right, okay? 
babe, I know you're not doing it right because layering your scent starts in the shower, not when you get out the shower. But before I even get into that tip, I just wanna say this first. Make sure you are extremely intentional on what you wanna smell like that day, okay? Make sure whatever perfume you pick to smell like, you know what notes are in that perfume, okay? Because if you want your scents to last all day and you wanna layer correctly, you're supposed to use those same scents that's in your perfume in the shower. So like, for example, if you are, you know, you wanna smell like roses today, okay? So the perfume you picked out is has rose ingredients in it or rose notes in it, all right? So when you get in the shower, your body wash, your body exfoliant, your body serums, or whatever you put do in the shower, it's gonna have rose in it or some type of florally scent that is similar to the perfume, okay? And then you get out the shower, your moisturizers, your body butter, your body oil uh, that you put on your body, it's gonna have florally or rose scent in it, so similar to the perfume as well. And this is exactly what I do in the shower, so I always make sure that the body washes I have have some type of floral or like rose in it because I know the perfume I'm gonna pick that day has some type of flower in it. And I wanna smell like a flower all day, all right? So if you wanna smell like a flower too, or vanilla or amber or honey, or whatever you wanna smell like, make sure you start layering your scents in the shower and not when you get out the shower. And that pretty much concludes today's girl tips. I hope you guys learned a lot today, all right? Um, definitely let me know in the comments any tips that you guys have at home that you do to really enhance your beauty routine. I would love to know. I always love learning new beauty tips, you know, to enhance my look, all right? Um, all the products I talked about today will be listed in the description box below. Also, you can click the link, the YouTube shopping link as well to access the products there. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.